This is Dan again. Um, I want to tell you, um, after you, this is taking, picking up where we left off uh, from the last time with it. Uh, once you install your Visual Studio 2015, I want to make sure that after you install the community pack with it, if you look in the icon, this is what the ribbon looks like. And you see that in the bottom when I hover. It's, uh, it's a white ribbon. It's kind of like an infinity type of uh, ribbon with it. So Visual Studio 2015. Uh, make sure you use this one, not the blend for Visual Studio 2015. This one, we don't don't use the blend. Do not use the blend for Visual Studio. I like for you to use the Visual Studio 2015, the white ribbon. The other one has a little B in front of it. That's for something else. Don't do that. So once you start with the Visual Studio 2015, is the one I like for you to use. Click on it, and it should load like this. Okay, and it, it looks very traditional like your, it's a white screen like this. So if you load a black background and all the uh, theme is all dark and black, that's the blend version. All right, so let's, let's, let's get that clear and straight here before we go further with it. So make sure you use the regular traditional Microsoft Visual Studio 2000. Uh, 15 for me. Thank you. I mean, I'm going to uh, pause and I'm going to, we're going to about to set up a hello world right now. All right, uh, this is uh, to just to demo the Hello World program after you have it installed. So I want to take it from kind of like the uh, after you have assumed that you ran through uh, everything that you have done through the installation with this thing. So if you could for me uh, in here, what I would like for you to do is to do File, um, New, Project, okay, File, New, Project. And you open the project, and you see the Visual Studio. Uh, this this dialog box is very important at the stage. I want to refer to five points on here. And if you can do this uh, with me, uh, the first point is if you go to Visual C++, click on Windows 32 on the left panel over here, and you click on Windows 32 Console Application. It's a second one. First point is Win32. Second point here is uh, Win32 console application. Third one is I like for you to give it a name. Please call it hello world uppercase H and uppercase W one word. We always run a hello world on a test compiler the first time we do this. That's the third point and the browse button is the fourth one. I have a little sandbox folder on my desktop that I have created. Uh, I'm going to call this folder, you know, I call it sandbox, but you can call it anything you want. Make sure you know where you put it on your local drive with it. That's the fourth uh, part on here is the browse is, lo is the location of the name of this project is going to be stored. And the fifth point is create, disable, or turn off, or uncheck the create directory for solution for me. Again, five checkpoints I want to reiterate here. One, first one is Win32. Second one is Win32 console application. Third one is give it a file, a project name. Fourth is you got to give it a location where this project is going to be stored. And the fifth one is to disable the checkbox where it says create directory for solution. The five checkbox is very important. Click OK. Takes you to the next dialog window. If you can please click on applications and settings. Make sure you check. This is very important. Make sure you enable, check the empty project, dial, uh, this little checkbox right here. Again, empty project needs to be checked. And then you click on finish for me, please. <clears throat> a few seconds. So you have on the left here, you should have a, your solution, a explorer, a dialer, your window over here. What I'd like for you to do is right mouse click on it. Uh, on your project name, in this case is Hello World, come down and do Add for me, please. New item. Right click on your name of your project is Hello World. Go down to your dialog box is Add New Item for me, please. It's going to open up this. This is very important. Make sure you click on the CPP. Click on it. And in your name, don't leave it as source. Make sure you call it Main for me, okay? Main. M A I N, lowercase. Click on the CPP is the file extension C++. Main is the name of the file. Click on Add. So once you have this, uh, because I'm, I'm writing this uh, through a screen, 
So I like to change this to, there's three settings in the environment. You saw how I just did that. If you go to Tools, go down to Options, Tools, Options, Tools, Options. We'll open up the Options dialog box for me. Under the environment where you see this little triangle, now it's been collapsed and been expanded to a, to a little like, you know, triangle. It's kind of like dog ear, kind of like you fold it. And if you could find for me the font and color uh, category underneath environment. For me, since I'm doing this, I need to crank up the font here so you can see is the size is 18 or I'll tell you what, let me do size 21 or 22. Please leave it as console eyes with it. Uh, that's the first setting is the font and color. Change the font size for me 22 because I'm recording this in the screen, but for you, you can keep it as 12, 14, 16, however you want to read this. The second one is the text editor. Click on your text editor category, expand it, come down on, click on your C, C++. I always like to have a word wrap. That's the second one. The third one is I like to enable a line number. So three things, the size of the font, the second one is the word wrap, the third one is the line number. Click OK. Now, I like for you to, on every source code, I like to for you to put forward slash forward slash your name goes here. So put your name. Second one is bear with me in these comments. I'll explain to you in you in chapter two what these comments mean, but basically the compiler will ignore everything after the forward slash forward slash. So if you can please put in uh, the course that you are enrolled in, 1415 slash 1436, whatever section it is that you are enrolled in for me, again, help me with that, uh, because I have 112 of you this semester, and I have two sections of C++. The third line I'd like for you to put in is, tell me what this one, what this program is about. If this is lab one, lab two, whatever it is, the program in the book that you're doing. In this case, I'd like for you to just put in, hello world. Okay, uh, with it. So this is why I call it the basic skeleton for me. If you can please do pound include. This is the preprocessor, all right, pound include. And if you do a less than sign and greater than sign, your IntelliSense will pop up. The way I like for you to put in is IO stream, if you can see, it, that's the IO stream. Exactly lowercase the way how I have this for me, all right. The next line on line seven, using name space space std bear with me i will go over every line of code every word everything every command in here so for now we're just going to get try and get this thing to work int main make sure you spell exactly the way how i have it with the left parentheses and right parentheses left curly brackets right curly brackets hit enter and put in return zero so I, what I'm referring here is the basic skeleton for every program from now to the end of this course. You have got to have this set of code. Okay, inside of this, in line seven, line eleven for me, just put in C out, meaning you're giving a command to output to the screen. C out with a less than less than, meaning it is an insertion with a string that's in a double quote. Just put hello world explanation mark. And you could say something along the line, this is my first C++ program, okay? And after this quote, again, put your insertion in and just do ML. It takes the cursor down to the next line for me, all right? If you notice up here in the left-hand corner where it says main.cpp has an asterisk, which does that mean is this file has, needs to be saved. So if you can please hit Control S, the asterisk goes away. Control F5 will compile this thing. And I'm going to talk to you more about what is compiling or compiler and what does it mean and everything with it. So you hit control S to save the file, the, the asterisk goes away, and you hit control F5 is to compile it. So if you have everything correct the way I have it here, make sure it's NL with it, you should get this output right here with it. Okay? So this is our, our what I call a hello world, just a dry run to see you have a compiler that's working okay with it as well. Okay? So this is why I want to stop right here, and we're going to actually, I'm going to upload this video for everybody to see.